Um, what's going on, guys? I don't know if I'll make this a video or not. I might just post it on YouTube, but I'm not sure. Um, so this is a Lynx Shredder uh, 3900. I'd assume all the tunnels are like this. And riding a 6-inch tunnel cut Polaris, you definitely feel that there's not as much of a cut on these. And I'm going to switch this one over to a 146. Cutting the tunnel on these is quite a pain, but if you look on them, first your flap adds quite a bit of tunnel to it. Um, it's a pretty stiff flap, so you definitely feel that too. But if you take and drill out um, all these rivets across here and all the rivets on the flap, then you'll have to grind this one and this one off this little piece comes off and you get another i don't know i'll measure it i think we're about an inch and a half not the best tape measure but about inch and three quarter you get out of that plate and then you figure probably another inch or two with the flap so it's probably about a three inch cut and then I'll probably, or I will, put it back with the BMP bumper on it to stiffen it up. Um, because it's a lot less, it's a lot more flimsy, I think, without this plate on here. And the cooler's a lot closer to the rear end of the sled. I'll have to cut the bumper, but uh, yeah, I'm going to grind these off and then I'll take a little video. Well, I just got this piece off. Um, it's kind of a pain. I kind of bent it up a little bit doing it. But now I'm going to put my taillight back on and uh, rivet it back up. That shows you kind of how much it cuts. It makes quite a difference. Just got, just got my uh, quarter inch rivets in, quarter inch stainless rivets I put back in it. Um, the normal ones that come in it are pop rivets. These are just normal rivets. Um, definitely have to do these with a rivet gun or a pneumatic rivet gun. Now I'm going to go through and do pretty much all these 316s holes to try to give it a little bit more um, durability since I don't have that piece on there. As you guys have just watched, I didn't finish this video when I filmed it. Um, and I got a few rides on this cut I did. So I'll show you guys how it finished up. Um, I just pretty much did a hack job on the flap um but you can do it a lot cleaner or you can leave the flap the whole length and slide it ahead quite a bit and then as you can see i riveted all across the back um and this is with a 146 let's see if... so i did i did put a 146 under it and it, uh, it's still pretty rowdy with a 146. So I'm sure with a 155, it'll be really rowdy with the uh, tunnel cut wise. But yeah, it still comes around with a 146 on it. So that'll make your shredder or Gen 5, Gen 4 skidoo. Um, work with either a 146 with no cooler cutting or a make your tunnel cut bigger on a full tunnel. Um, and I also did put a backwards BMP bumper on uh, without these tunnels really should have a bumper on them anyways because these new links don't come with any bumper and especially with that nothing guarding the cooler so that's it thank you for watching i hope you found this helpful